Giannis was absolutely demoralized after a blowout loss to the Grizzlies, and there are already reports that he could give the Bucks another ultimatum or just flat out request a trade. I hate trade demand gossip, but the Giannis stuff is out there. I think there's a world where he's the next big domino to drop. And one Eastern Conference executive says that he's already hearing some rumblings about a trade to Miami or Brooklyn. This was in a CBS article, so already the same things are coming from different sides, confirming the fact that the Bucks are on thin ice. And why wouldn't they be? This team cannot stop anyone on the perimeter. White, step back three, go! Milwaukee got demolished by Kobe White and Zach Levine at home for a combined 60 points between them, and they followed up this embarrassing performance by allowing Cam Thomas and Dennis Schroeder to go off for a total of 61 points between the two of them. Here's Thomas, he has nine in the corner, looking for more. Thomas, oh, he gets lost! These are teams that are expected to be in the lottery. The Bucks should be walking all over them. But with the 7th worst defense in the league, this is simply impossible. And you could say, oh it's too early in the season, it's a small sample size, but this is the same team under the same coach that last year were 19th in defense, and they started the exact same as this season at 24. So Giannis has already seen this movie, and he's getting impatient. Thing is, the offense is also bad. Last season, they were 5th in 3-pointers made, and right now, they are 20th in these first 5 games. As bad as they've started, the Bucks could be in a way bigger hole very soon, with 2 upcoming games against the perfect Cleveland Cavaliers, then a game against the Knicks and Boston. To me, this stretch could set the tone and either quiet the storm within the team with some quality wins, or things could completely escalate and the trade talk could be inevitable. But it is obvious that help is needed for this team in some way. Gary Trent Jr., one of their only additions in the offseason who was supposed to be another weapon on offense, has shot 8 for 29 from 3-point range so far, a miserable 27.5%. Against Memphis, Trent could not hit the ocean from a boat, going 0 for 7 from downtown, and he had some horrible misses despite being wide open. Lopez, extra feed. Trench 3, too much. Damian Lillard is even worse for the season at 12 for 45, that's 26.5% from downtown. The Bucks' only hope is that once Chris Middleton comes back from injury, things would get better. But if you're hoping that a 33-year-old guy who's in decline and constantly injured, if he's supposed to save the season, then man, the Bucks are in some big trouble. Now, getting back to the trade scenarios and onto the Kumpo's preferred destinations. So obviously, if Milwaukee reaches the horrific scenario of having to trade Giannis, that's going to be a full rebuild. They'd want a bunch of draft picks and some young guys potentially. Brooklyn has a bunch more draft capital than Miami, though neither of them can add in some exciting young talent to start the rebuild. Which is why Bill Reiter, the author of that CBS article, offered OKC as a possible destination full of both draft assets but also some interesting young pieces who could be involved in that trade. And the unnamed executive agrees that the Thunder are a good candidate. OKC, on the other hand, have a perfect start to the season, so I'm certain that they wouldn't want to tinker with this young core that they've got. Not even for Giannis. Their suffocating defense is number one by far in these first few games, and with the guys that they have on the roster, this isn't a coincidence either, so I'm expecting this to continue. It comes down to the basic premise of the guy wants to compete for titles. If he doesn't feel like everything around him is title worthy, at some point, he's going to go to a place that he wants to compete. I also wouldn't rule the Knicks out long term with Giannis to begin with. Like right. they have the Towns piece that would work as the contract. I don't really know what the team is if you're talking about titles. There's not like the perfect fit, but I know that dude doesn't want to be irrelevant. Things are looking bad for Milwaukee. A lot of teams being mentioned and a lot of ways that this could go. Just 10 days into the season and the NBA is already getting out of control. Just think about the chaos that happened yesterday. An absolutely wild night in the league, so if you haven't, you gotta check out what took place right here in this video. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out.